Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you on this look. And this is just a mermaid inspired eyeshadow look with like kind of metallic -y lips. And I absolutely love the way this turned out. And the best thing about this makeup tutorial is that every single product that I use on my face is really, really affordable and stuff that you can get from the drugstore. So I haven't done a video like this in ages. I think the last affordable makeup tutorial I posted on my YouTube channel was probably about a year ago now. So this is long overdue. And yeah I just pulled out everything in my makeup drawers that I could find that was affordable and just created this makeup look for you. So this was the makeup that I was wearing in my previous video where I showed you guys my September favourites. If you haven't seen that video yet I'll leave a link right here if you want to go and check it out. But this is exactly the same makeup look but I am wearing a different lip. In my other video I was wearing a kind of like a nudie lip but I wanted to switch it up today because I wanted to do something a little bit more pink and yeah just kind of tie all that sort of mermaid colour theme in together. So guys if you're not already subscribed to my channel I would love to have you here so don't forget to click this little red subscribe button and that will notify you of two videos per week I post every Thursdays and Sundays so again if you want to see how I got this mermaid inspired makeup look then keep on watching so to start off I'm going to be priming my eyes so I'm just going to be taking this concealer from LA Girl this is their pro concealer and I'm just going to be smoothing a little bit of this onto the eyelids just to counteract any discoloration and also help prime the eyes before we apply all the eyeshadows so now moving on to a transitional shade, I'm going to be taking a Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie, as always, <laughs> and I'm just going to be buffing that into the crease. So now taking the shade Time Travel, also by Makeup Geek, I'm just going to be taking a dome shaped brush and I'm just going to be applying that to the outer and the inner corner of the eyes and then I'm going to be blending that through into the crease. So I did go in a couple of times just to really build up the intensity of that colour. So now going in with the shade Chit Chat, also by Makeup Geek. As you can, guys can tell, I'm probably using a lot of Makeup Geek eyeshadows today, but they're just really, really good affordable eyeshadows. So this colour is absolutely stunning. It's a really sort of shimmery lilac shade. So I'm just going to be buffing that into the crease and really merging that colour and the Time Travel shade in together. So now picking up this eyeshadow from Makeup Revolution in the colour Emerald Goddess and this truly is the start of this eyeshadow look today. I absolutely love this. I spoke about this in my September favourites and they're just such a good affordable product to use on the eyes and they really create a sort of big impact of colour onto the eyes which I absolutely love. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this with some liquid sugar and I'm just going to be patting that onto the middle part of the lid and I'm just going to be buffing out the edges just to blend all those colours in together more seamlessly. So I did want to add some more glitter to this look today so I'm going to be going in with this Glam Crystals Gel Liner and this is by Collection in the colour Hustle and this shade is just so beautiful. It's really nice sort of silvery shade but it has got flecks of pink and green in it as well so it's going to look really beautiful over that Emerald Goddess shade. So now I'm just going to be picking up this NYX two timer eyeliner and I'm just going to be using the felt tip side and I'm just going to be drawing out kind of like a little wing on the eyes. I'm not going to be doing anything too dramatic because I want all the emphasis to be on the colours of the eyes today rather than a winged eyeliner. So I'm just going to be creating a little bit of definition onto the eyes and then I'm just going to be removing the sellotape and wiping away any of the excess fallout that we had from the eyeshadows. So now moving on to lashes, I'm going to be taking this mascara by L'Oreal. This is their voluminous mascara. So I'm just going to be adding a coat of that and then for lashes today I'm going to be taking these Ardell ones in the number 107. So now moving on to the face, I'm going to be priming using my NYX Angel Veil Primer and this is fantastic if you guys have got oily skin. It really mattifies the skin and makes sure that foundation stays on all day long. So I'm just going to be adding a layer of that mainly to the areas where I tend to get most oily, so that's around my T-zone. And now moving on to foundation, I'm going to be taking this Soap and Glory foundation in one heck of a block and I really, really like this foundation. It's very comparable to the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. I believe that one is like the two one concealer and foundation one and it's super super full coverage and yeah it just blends out beautifully and it lasts a really really long time so now going back in with that LA Gale Pro Concealer I'm just going to put that under the eyes and blending that out with my damp beauty blender 
So now to set that concealer into place, I'm going to be baking using this collection Sheer Loose Powder. And while that's baking away, I'm going to be going in and doing my eyebrows off camera. And then after that, I'm just going to be wiping away some of the excess product. So now going in with this sculpting trio, I believe this is by Rimmel and this is their like Kate Moss collection makeup. So I'm just going to be taking that contour shade and contouring my face and I'm also going to be using the blush from this palette and I'm just going to be buffing that onto the cheekbones and on my apples of my cheeks as well. So now to finish off the eyes, I'm going to be taking this eyeshadow from Makeup Geek and this is in the colour Casino and this is just a really beautiful, unique shade. It's kind of like a really yellow gold with lots of shimmer in it. So I'm going to be buffing it into lower lash line and going quite far down with it. And I did want to add a little bit of pink to this look today. So I'm also going to be taking this Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the colour Hot Pants and I'm going to be pushing that up against the lower lash line just to add a touch of pink to this look. So now to intensify that lower lash line, I'm going to be taking the shade Time Travel again and with a flat definer brush, I'm just going to be defining the lower lash line and then I'm just going to be lining my waterline with that NYX Two Timer Eyeliner again. So I'm just going to add a quick coat of mascara to my lower lashes and then I'm going to be moving on to highlighter. So I'm going to be using this sleek Solstice Eye Highlighting Palette which is one of my favourite highlighting palettes. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to be taking that pink shade and I'm going to be intensifying the inner corners of the eye, the brow bone and then I'm going to be using that whiter shade to highlight my cheekbones, my nose and also my cupid's bow. So now to complete this makeup look, I'm going to be taking this NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the colour Tea and Cookies. And I'm just going to be applying a layer of that. And I did want to add a pop of highlight to the lips today. So I'm going to be going in with that sleek Solstice palette again and taking that pinky shade. And while that lipstick is still wet, I'm going to be patting it onto the centre part of the lips and just create a nice metallic feel to the lips today. So guys, that completes this makeup look. I really, really hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel i would love to have you here so don't forget to click this little red subscribe button and i will see you all again soon bye